Hi, I'm Dave Dean. Um, we just got done watching a precision measurements video, and now what I want to go through uh, is how to use the outside micrometers. You know, he was talking about inside micrometers, outside micrometers, depth micrometers, outside calipers, inside calipers. Right now, I want to go a little bit more in depth on an outside micrometers. Um, because we're millwrights, this is a tool of our trade. This is something that we need to know how to use, right? We need to know one, when we need to use a micrometer. Do we need to use it if we just need a dimension in inches? No, not really, right? If we want a dimension down to thousandths of an inch, then we probably want to use a micrometer. Um, I got several different outside micrometers here. Um, and what we want to do is we want to take the micrometer out of the case, okay? The proper way to hold a micrometer, you see the little horseshoe shape? What we want to do with that is take our pinky in our right hand and put it through there. Then what we want to do is take our index, or our ring finger and kind of pinch it between our ring finger and our palm. See how I can hold it and it doesn't fall or anything? That leaves our index finger and our thumb free that we can turn the barrel. Okay. Now before we take any measurements, what we want to do is we need to clean the measuring faces. If we don't clean them, there may be dirt, grit, oil, or something like that on the measuring faces, which is going to give us an inaccurate reading. We don't want that to happen. So we want to get a lint-free cloth. We want to open up the distance between our measuring faces and just wipe them off gently. We don't need to use sandpaper or file or anything like that. We just need to clean them off so there's no dirt or grit on them. Now, how do we know that when we go and take a measurement that the measurement is in fact accurate? Well, what we want to do is we want to verify the calibration. How we can do that is on a zero to one inch micrometer, which is what I'm holding right now, we can take, turn the barrel all the way close. And as you can see, the measuring faces are getting closer together. I'm going to take all the way closed. And what does that read? Zero. Zero. We have a zero on the barrel, which lines up with the horizontal line on the sleeve, right? So that means zero thousandths of an inch, and I have it all the way tight. Now, when we do this, we don't need to take our hand and turn it tight like that. We can actually spring this open. We don't want to do that. We want it just tight enough that they're snug and we have an accurate measurement. When we get done with this, I'm going to have you guys measure objects so you can develop that feel. If you've never used one of these before, that's fine. That's why we're going to go through this and I want to explain how to, how to use all this stuff before we go into the measurement. Another way that we can verify or check the accuracy of this, especially on these larger ones. Now, if you notice, this one is not going to close all the way. This is a one to two inch micrometer. What we need to use on something like this is going to be a standard, okay? A standard is something, this particular standard is one inch long. No longer, no shorter, one inch long exactly. So I'm gonna hold the micrometer the same way, and what I would do with this is I would take the standard and line it up just like that, and I would measure. Now, because I didn't clean the faces on here, I don't know if I have an accurate measurement, right? But I can do the same thing with my 0 to 1 inch micrometer. Saying as I already have the faces cleaned on here, I can open this up all the way. And what I will do is I will line this up parallel or in line with the measuring faces. It's not absolutely critical, but we want to try to get it as lined up as we can. If you take a close look at these, when we start measuring objects, take a look at the ends. What you're going to find is the ends are not flat across. They're slightly convex shaped. So even if you're not perfectly straight up and down or perfectly in line with them, you're still going to get an accurate reading. You want to attempt to get it as close to in line as possible. Now, I have this opened up all the way. I'm going to line it up in there. And I want to snug it up. And you can see, I have it tight, but it's not so tight that I'm overstressing. Okay? And as you can see, the zero lines up with the line on the sleeve, does it not? Yes, it does. So that tells us that we're calibrated. Now we are ready to use this micrometer for measuring an object. Uh, We can measure different shapes of objects. Uh, they could be square, round, rectangular, whatever it may be. I have a couple items here that you guys are going to be measuring. And 
what you see here is I have two faces that I want to measure. I want to see how wide this object is. So I'm going to take my micrometer, turn it until I touch, and I want to wiggle it back and forth just a little bit to make sure it's snug on there. I don't want to over tighten it, right? It's important that we don't over tighten it. Now, what's the largest number you see on the sleeve? Right? Seven. Seven. Okay. So what we want to do, when we write these measurements down, to keep things straight, what size micrometer do we have? Zero to one. A zero to one, right? So we can write zero inch to one inch. That's the size micrometer we have. Normally, for instance, if we had a two to three inch, when we write our dimensions down, what we want to write down would be 2.000 inches. Because we have a zero to one inch micrometer, I'm still going to write it down just so I get in the habit of writing down what the micrometer size is. So my micrometer size is 0 0.000 inches. Because it reads from zero to one inch, anything over one inch, I can't read with this micrometer. Now, you had told me that you had read seven, correct? Yes. So that's going to be 7.700 inches. Okay. Now, if you notice, we have to keep these decimal places in line. It's very important that we do that. If we don't, even though we can take the reading accurately, when we write it down, it's going to be incorrect. We don't want to do that. We have to be very detailed in our industry. So, now we know that each line on the sleeve represents 25 thousandths. How many lines do you see after the seven? Two. We have two, right? So that's going to tell us that we have 50 thousandths, right? 0 0.050. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that and write that on here. 0 0.5, I'm sorry, 0 0.050 inches. Now the last number we need to take is going to be right on the barrel. Okay, so we're going to put this back 